Oh, I've got one of them jobs on, you know, the ones that we don't like, a callback one. Dave from D&J this morning sent me a text saying that crane's still playing up, Chris. Uh, this morning I went to it to try and do it and it, and it wouldn't have a bar of it. Even when you press the override, it just kept glitching out all the time again. So you have to keep on pressing the override, obviously just to get it down. The override's there in case you're stuck with the crane up in the air, just so you keep on pressing it to get it down. Uh, so I've got to go back there. I'm going to go pick up our Archie first and then I'm going to go to D&J and see if we can get to the bottom of this crane problem. I wasn't that confident yesterday, but I did keep on trying it and it was working fine. But obviously it was an intermittent fault from the start, wasn't it? So you know on them intermittent faults, you're always a bit wary whether you fixed it or not. And obviously I haven't. It was just a coincidence that I must have disturbed summits or summits went wrong. Uh, so I'm going back there again. Got to pick our arch up first. Let's go. See what we can discover with this. I was meant to be doing that spraying today. You know, the dreaded spraying. Dun, dun, dun because I'm not letting the spraying beat me. No, I'm not. Me and our Archie is not getting beaten by that spraying. We're gonna be experts by the end of it. Come on, let's go, train line. Train line's down again. You know the train lines are gonna be down. Guys, say hello to Arch Arland. Hey, old guys. Arch Arland's here. He's come to help his daddy out. I'm struggling with this crane game, aren't I, Arch? Yes. So I need our Arch's expertise on the job. Is the engine Arch? Well, there's the grab. Well, let's go and read these fault code book again. Let's see if we can make some sense of this job. Now this is what I thought was fault yesterday, Arch. This is what I cleaned up and that, and it worked then. This thing here. But apparently it's not working again. Tripping out all the time, isn't it? All right, lad. Yeah, it's not even staying on now for a second, is it? Sixty-three oh seven. I don't know why, but I assume that sixty-three, that valve there was the spool valve, but it's obviously not, is it? That was just coincidence that someone had been twatting around with that. And that wasn't the spool valve, was it? 63 is the fault like code-ish. And then you've got 07 there, which means extensions extending. Yeah, the, it's all indicates the boom, doesn't it? Yeah. And if you get time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you have a look at the little red? Yeah, we'll do, Dave. Yeah. yeah. And if you get time, I'll put that reversing camera on and all. What are you talking? That's Friday today, you know. I don't know. It's what? That's Friday. That's that Friday's where you have to. <laughs> Every day is Fat Friday for us, Archer. We don't have just Fat Friday. Tell him. Tell him it's Fat Friday. Friday. He likes McDonald's and that, don't he? You know what these kids oh, are like? Yeah, I love McDonald's, mate. Yeah, There's I know. just over there, buddy. Oh, don't tell him where it is, Dave. <laughs> for God's sake. <laughs> for God's sake. Spool position sensor. You did a fantastic job on the other day. Oh, it's good, isn't it? <laughs> 
Oh, she's, oh, she's playing the sun. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, now you can beat right, him with. I'm, I'm, I'm back in about small position. A couple of hours, dude. Yeah, all right, Dave. All yeah, right. no problem, mate. I'll try and get my head around it. Yeah, yeah it's got a rope. Oh, look. Is it? Yeah. Go on, get a little pull up. I know you're dying too, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, I've got a plan. Right, there's the extension, look. The boom extension. So by rights, it should be on this spool block at the back of this spool, spool block. Shouldn't it? The sensor? Well, it will do, won't it? Yes. See, Archie says yeah, so it'll be at the back of that, won't it? The trouble is we can't see it very well in there. Right, at the back of that block there then, so that's the one, two, three, fourth block in. Let's have a look at the back of it. Can you see up there? Oh. Yeah. Take what off the exhaust? No, this I think. Yeah. Look, there's sensors up there. Right at the back of the spool valves, that's where the sensors are. I'm just gonna uh, start it up again and twat around with that extension one, see whether it works then. Just read what it says on the manual, man. <laughs> Look out. Someone sends in a perfectly good Volco bug and we don't read it fully. All I had to do was move that boom in and out. Obviously, it must have a dodgy connection somewhere. And the dodgy connection is either on the back of this small valve here or somewhere on the boom. Has it got a sensor on the boom? Will it have a sensor on the boom? Let's find out. Switch engine off on. I'll lower it down. Watch out, Archie. Going down. <laughs> your daddy's coming up there, Archie. You hold that, Archie. Watch your daddy fall off the side here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can suss this bloody job out or... Hello everybody, it's me, the struggler. Struggling on the crane. Because I don't read instructions very well. No, just literally that spool valve. The end of that spool valve, there's a sensor there. And I think that sensor must be playing up. A little bit. Just a little bit, like baby wood. Well, there's no oh, sensors there, is there? Off. Got no wires going up there, is it? No. No. There's no wires at all going to this boom. So obviously, it's at the back of that spool valve where it senses it from, isn't it? The spool valve position. So me just moving it has moved the position of it. So it must just have a bit of a crappy connection wherever the spool valve is some places. So all Dave needs to do is if he has the fault again, he's just moved that boom again, isn't it? Ah! Oh God, he's just jumped down. Oh, shall I do the old, oh, you'll, you'll ruin your knees when you're older. Back when I was a lad, we used to jump off stuff like that and now my knees are all... A crooked. <laughs> right, let's try again. Sweet now, isn't it? Right, switch it off and on. Yeah, so basically, all he has to do is, if he comes that fault again, with the red lights and that, is just put his boom, move his boom. Because it's a dodgy connection at the back of this spool valve here, the boom spool valve. There's the plug right at the back of it. 
just like the one I took off yesterday and cleaned, but obviously oh, I took off and cleaned the wrong one. And it's just coincidence that I moved the levers and obviously it worked. But obviously the position where it's at, uh, it's going to be a big job to get all them spool valves off, to take that connection off and clean it and all that, isn't it? So let's see if we can live with it. If you can't live with it, I'm going to have to take it all off and do it, aren't I? But if you can live with it, well... I mean, it doesn't even rear its head that often. Like, I was doing it all day, all, all afternoon yesterday. I did it fucking four or five times. Didn't miss a beat. But then in this morning, come to it, wouldn't bloody start. We wouldn't go anywhere, would it? It's Sod's Law! <laughs> what else did he say, do? I need to adjust the brakes upon Little Red because he's had that overall by the dealer. They've done all the diff, they've done all the brakes on it. And the dealer says, just keep on tweaking the brakes up a bit. Obviously, the brakes might like, wind themselves off or something. I don't know. But anyway, I'll adjust the brakes up on Little Red. And then this Big Red, uh, one of Dave's subscribers has sent him in a reversing camera. But it's a, uh, it's a wireless one. So obviously, it just takes its feed. You need a feed at the back there to power it up, the camera and then a feed at the front, and no wires going down it, which is good, isn't it? Can I do some tones? I just want to do some tones. He's going to he's gonna give him some tones and going to send it to his mate, because then like I'll forget to tell him. Do you like a Tim or anything? Uh, some tones. Are you going to do a truck of Tim on it then? Yeah. Right. Do some tones! See, tones. Even them lot loved the tones over there. Yeah. Trucker Tim would be proud of you with them tones, Arch, won't I? Yeah, I got to send that to Trucker Tim, I got to say. Yeah. That's the Lord's look, that backwards. We've got a great panel here, Bloody good show. Right, reversing camera. Let's go to the office, get the reversing camera. Look, not many places have got a gym in their workplace, are they, Arch? d has got a gym well, in. Like oh, look at Arch, he's going to be a professional like this. What's this machine do, Arch? Try that one. What, what this one? No, that's not a machine. Oh, that is a machine. What's that? No. I don't either. No. Oh, do you pull down on this or something? Oh. Maybe, like, push yourself up to it. We're experts at this. Oh, You've got the pros in here now. Right, we've had a break, Arch, haven't we? Let's get motivated. Right, we need to mount this reversing camera somewhere back here, Archie Allen. And then we need to put the monitor in the cab and then we need to power them both up. That would be a nice place there, look, wouldn't it? Because then that's out the way, look, then. As long as it can... Yeah, it should be able to zoom. I think that's a place for us, Arch. Right, if I get mounting this up here, you can get mounting the monitor up in the cab, can't you? Come on, let's see where we're going to put that one. Ah! 
Right, let's plug this in. Let's see if this fag lighter works. Because nobody uses fag lighters now, haven't they? So we may as well plug this into it. Look at that! It's got a USB charger thing and all, look at it. That's a handy little adapter, isn't it? I ain't got ignition on, so it won't light. It's better, will it? Oh, look at that! So now he's got a USB port and he's got his monitor powered up. Get some tones! No, not the tones. Stop it now. Yeah. Dave, Archie wants to wear out your tones. There yeah. we go. Get some tones! Woohoo! Right, where are we going to have this monitor? We don't want it up there because it's blocking his view. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> That looks, I uh, just looking there, Arch, I thought to myself that looks a nice little cubby hole, doesn't it? <laughs> the hell is Arch doing? Right, let's screw that to there then, Arch, yeah? Because look, it's had some screws in it already. So we're not going to do no harm, are we? Right, go on, Arch, you do that and you screw that in there and I'll go and do the back bit of the job. Right, while our Arch is fitting that front one, I'll fit this back one, won't I? We'll just check it works. Take it out to reverse. It's still on. It's Easy. off. Oh. There we go. Good job, Arch. Go on. I'm going to the back. I haven't finished my job yet. There, look at that. That's a lovely bit of mountain skills. Reverse. Check. Cream. Check. If he has that problem again with that cream, he'll just have to put the boom in and out, won't he? Just to un nudge the problem. Uh, I'm going to take these keys back. We're going to go to do that spray job, Arch, now. It's Friday, isn't it? Yeah. We'll quickly spray that. Oh, tell you, we need to go home now, pick up the paint. I know. Hey man, we'll have a cup of tea when we're home. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. This. Whoa! Fucking hell, I don't even, I can't even drive anymore. Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> that road's closed, look, isn't it? I can't go that way, can I? Don't be a bloody rubbernecker. No, something, alright, just filling up his bar so we're bloody water. The golden arches. Right, belt on arch. We've had a McDonald's lot. We're all refreshed now, ready for the big spray job. Oh. <laughs> Where's my key? What have done with my keys? Yeah, fucking hell, I thought I chuck them in the bin then at McDonald's. Right, we're home now to get the paint. Me and Archie are regulators, aren't we, Arch? <laughs> We damn good, good at it too, but you, you can't be any geek off the street. street. You, you gotta, gotta be having one still if you know what I mean. And you keep. keep. Roll, Roll out, regulators. Roll up. Right, we've got the paint. Let's go and arch. Let's go and just do the black. We'll sand down the black, spray the black quick, and then that's it. Then we're done. Oh damn it! I was hoping arch someone had chored this thing by now. <laughs> Right, day five, or well, four or whatever it is, of the spray job. Right, we're just going to do it quick, Arch. But right, what we're going to do is take off all this, because I've, I did it all wrong. Ugh. Take off all this, sand this down, but sand that. Look, look at this, look. That's what I didn't sand down before. So I'm going to sand it down properly this time, so there's no drips in it whatsoever, so it's smooth as a baby's bum. And then I'm going to spray it all again, both sides, and that's it. Leave it then to dry. We ought to just leave it like that, Arch. It's smooth and it looks nice. It's like a rustic effect, isn't it? Let's get it sprayed. Right, I've gone, I've upgraded now, look. Look at this lot. Oh, that is cool. 
Devilbiss. Devil Biss. Special one that is. Devil. That's it. Not Devil Biss. Devil Biss. Apparently, these are a real good make in uh, spray gun. Made in the UK. We like it. Uh, apparently, yeah, these are one of the best spray guns money can buy. So if I can't spray with this, I can't spray with piss all, can I? I've lent this off a of mate and all the gear, no idea, basically. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is, I'm not going to mask it off, bro. I'm just going to do two coats of this black on there. And hopefully that'll be the last two coats I ever do on this black on this side. <laughs> and then we're going to do two coats on the other side and all. Yeah? Yep. Push down. Oh yeah, on one of the comments as well, a few of you lads have said you want to dampen the floor before you start spraying, because then obviously all the dust don't get kicked up, doesn't it? But uh, I've got no water supply here whatsoever, so, uh, so I can't do that, can I? If, uh, if I had water supply, I'd get the hose pipe in here and just hose it all down, you know, just to stop it kicking up dust. But anyway, I've got to spray it as it is, Anna. So let's get, the, uh, let's get some more paint mixed and let's give it a, a dust coat first, and then we'll give it the proper coat. And another thing what my mate said is, I, I mixed it 10% thinners, didn't I? And he says he normally goes about 30% thinners, which is even thinner. And I had it running before. So this time I'm gonna have it sprinting, aren't I? It's gone tacky now, I'm gonna do the other coat. That was just a dust coat. This is the professional coat. Huh. Yeah, but I'm never going to stop the dust particles, am I? I ain't got a chance again, am I? Have I? They might polish it out. Yeah, they might polish it out at the end of it, yeah. Well, it's got fucking two choices, so I'm not doing the cunt again. <laughs> Just shoot ash on it as well, Dad. <laughs> Gives it a bit of flavour, a bit of ash on it like that. Yeah, we've done a good job of that spray job. I'm glad all that moisture was coming through from the airline and went all over that spray. <laughs> So that means I need to do it again, doesn't it? Because obviously the moisture trap's not working, is it? So I need to get another moisture trap on the compressor on this side, don't I? It's Friday, anyway. So we'll worry about that another day, won't we, Arch? Archie loves this job, you know. He's a proper amateur struggler, ain't he, Arch? Yeah. He's been struggling on this job. He's like, oh, not the spray job again, Dad, please. <laughs> right, guys. Me and our Archie will see you on the next one, won't we, Arch? Yep. Friday! Catch you later, guys! Friday! Friday! What did we say? Yeah! Friday! Woohoo! Here we go. See ya. Bye, Van. Bye, Camper Van. Ooh. See you next week, Mr. Camper Van. Same thing, same time next week. Arch is still off school as well, so no doubt Arch will be venturing down to see you, Mr. Camper. <laughs> right, see you in a bit, guys. Right, laters. Laters. <laughs>